It's your boy, Jay Realist TV, and I'm back with another banger. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. I've seen this video on somebody's channel, uh, Milk TV. I got it. I want to react to it, man, just because it, 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 this thing is a lame, you feel me? But if y'all already seen the video, please fast forward to my reaction. If you haven't, please watch this entirely, plus watch my reaction at the end of it. All right, man, let's get into it. Let's get it. What's up, everyone? It's your boy, John Gabbana. Um, God put this in my heart to share with y'all because uh, it's a true story. And I feel like the youth need to hear this. This uh, is strictly for the youth. Um, so, uh, last year, sometime last year, a year ago, uh, I was sucker punched and I had a broken jaw. And... I had to go six weeks without eating. I had my mouth wired shut for six weeks. I couldn't talk, couldn't lick my lips. <laughs> yeah, um, so what happened was that led to that point, I was jumped into a gang, a crip gang. And First off, the initiation was four against one in the alleyway. Three rounds, 15 seconds. So I was jumped into a crib game. Okay. What led me to doing that, making that decision for myself, is because I was seeking love, acceptance, and overall attention, thinking it would help my music career. Right? Um, okay, so a little while after that, uh, I'm getting hit with all type of politics and everything like that. Now, I didn't get jumped into the gang because I want to be a gang member. That's not why. It was for the three things that I named. And, but it came with so many politics and I'm like, okay, this not for me. So, even then, when I thought it wasn't for me, I remember going to jail, and I had to rep the gang that I was jumped in, and fight, I had got, I got in a fight, too, in jail for it. And, you know, it's just, at one point, I'm like, I'm, I'm thinking, like, bruh. I'm I'm about to be living a life. I'm about to be living a life that I truly don't want to. Because at that point, I'm like, I keep going to jail. And it's like, tch, you know, just, I don't mean, I don't know. It just, I truly felt like I was about to be living a life I didn't want to. Okay. So that day on the beach. I was out to go buy some drugs, okay? And my intuition told me not to go out there on that beach that day. But because I was so full of myself, I ignored my intuition and I went to the beach anyway. So um, when we get to the beach, the gang that I was jumped in approached me. And where you from, this, that, and the third. I'm like, oh, F this, F that. Then boom, I get punched once. My right side. Instantly, I felt my jaw, like. And then they like, going the alleyway, going the alleyway. Now it's a full, get the whole game there. I'm like, I'm not going to that alleyway. Nah, we ain't gonna do nothing. It's just, they wanted me to fight everybody that was there. Back then, I'm like, so it's three of us in the circle, four of us, three of them, one of me, equals four of us in the circle. We politicking on what's going on. And nobody liked what I was saying. Out of nowhere, I get sucker punched with some brass knuckles. My jaw instantly fell out my mouth. And I say, F this, and I just, I just run, I run in my car and drive to the hospital. Right. Um, lesson learned. I said, okay, 
That was man, it's so coward ass. Y'all see that shit, Mr. Coward Boom Gang? You know the one of the craziest little youngsters around is a Mark, Pooh Butt, Disco, Lame, Straight Goofy. Check this shit out, man. This nigga said he got put on the Crips, right? He got put on the Crips to like better his rap career. Now, that just goes to show you. I'm gonna pause right there. That goes to show you that these weak ass motherfucking industry niggas, yeah, you weak ass industry niggas, take this shit for a joke. Y'all think y'all could just join Crips and Bloods to expedite y'all motherfucking career. But what y'all don't do is expedite y'all's death. Get what I'm saying? You niggas is lame for that shit. And by all means, I feel like the Crips and Bloods should not let these goofy ass niggas join. Straight up. I don't give a fuck if there was money involved or not. It's too much blood shit. It's too many niggas who done lost family members, best friends, cousins. It's too much involved in this shit to just allow these internet motherfuckers to just join and, and think it's cool. It, Chris Brown's, uh, 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 what's the other little motherfucking name? Uh, uh, little Bow Wow. Oh, Soldier, look, them niggas ain't lokes. I thought that nigga, uh, at one point, I thought uh, uh, the little homie uh, Bow Wow was a crip when he was with Snoop and all that, but I guess that nigga turned Pyru too. But I can't speak on them because I ain't a Pyru. I can't speak with they, but I can say that as a California organization, you know, California-based gang, I can not say that's bullshit, all right? Um, now, let's move along. Bro said he got put on. So he actually got put on. So at this point, the nigga a crit. He a keyway, he a loke. He, he, he is that right now. Now, moving along from that. Now, y'all hold that thought. Bro said he got to the, uh, <laughs> he got to the beach. And did he not say His own homies, I guess, asked him where he was from. Or what did he say that some dudes, random dudes was like, where you from, whoop, whoop, whoop. And he said they wanted him to go in the alley and line it up. Now, yes, yes. If, if it ain't your gang, I've had situations where there was 10 dudes and I had, to, I had to fight all 10, yes. Because... A nigga giving you an out, bro. Them niggas could have killed you right there on that beach. But they giving you an out. This is the fucking reality of California, bro. When you want to join gangs here, this is the fucking reality. You could have either lost your life or, nigga, we going to see what you made of. You know what I'm saying? We going to tell your homies, hey, hey. Homeboy did that. You know what I'm saying? He a real one. It could have all been a setup. You don't know. Your own homies could have set that shit up. Just to test your water. Just to test your spirit. Just to test the water and see what type of hearts you got. Are you using us just for your own your own game? Or are you really rocking with us, nigga? Any motherfucker that's not from California who joined a California gang ain't rocking with y'all. They got some hidden agenda. You know what I'm saying? But where it got real for this nigga. <laughs> Where it got real for this goofy ass nigga is this nigga said that he got socked in the jaw. Boom. His shit dropped. So I think the harsh reality of him to hearing his jaw go boop. Mixed in with the come to the alley. That nigga got scared. <laughs> <clears throat> bruh said he ran, bruh. This nigga say he took off running from the set. He ran. So not only did you make your homies look bad by running, you still a crip and you ran. Crips is supposed to be lokes. They ain't supposed to run from shit regardless. Life or death. You a loke. You, 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 you signed up for this. This is, this is what, bro. <laughs> oh, you, you weenie ass nigga, you. Now, you ran, right? And your message to the youth is don't join gangs, whoop, 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 whoop. Look, nigga, you can't 
give that message to a California-based motherfucking dude, especially a kid. They grow up in this shit. They see this shit. They see shootings. They hear shootings. They see murders. They see drugs. They they see the homies hanging. Look, these are what this is what kids see. And goofy ass niggas like you who post shit like that, who post this shit on the internet, is what they see. They see, you know what I'm saying? Look, they see this shit, bro, because they live here. So, I got a son. I can tell my son don't join gangs. He don't ever see me throwing up no gang signs, wearing no flags, none of that shit. But I can't control what, this, what my son is going to grow up to be. I can help guide him in that direction where I want him to be. But it's going to be going to come a time at a certain age where my son going to make his own decision in life. Now, when he's at school, I mean, when he's at the park, if he happened to hang out with a group of individuals that's under my radar, you know what I'm saying? That I don't really know nothing about. And I come to find out this motherfucker didn't join the gang. I'm going to have that ass. But. I'm not going to lock my son in a cage, keep him in this house 24-7 and not experience life because of some gang shit. What I can do is guide him in the right direction and show him by example. I don't talk about that shit around him. I don't do that shit around him, even though he's only two right now. And I think by the time he really get up there in age, that shit might be extinct. But what I'm saying is. I don't show him that shit. Nigga, your parents didn't show you that shit. So what did you do? You come all the way out here to California to be a part of that shit. Like every other rap nigga. This shit ain't no game, bro. This shit started back with the Lil Wayne's, my nigga. Well, Lil Wayne thought he was a blood. You remember Lil Wayne was hot at the time. He, and so everybody that was Lil Wayne fan was saying Sue Whoop. When he came out with that song, everybody was saying Sue Whoop. Oh, what does that mean? What? These... Dumbass niggas didn't even know what the word meant. Now everybody just sue whoop game and sue whoop. Nigga, shut the fuck up. You niggas copy Lil Wayne. Nigga, I know. And then a lot of you goofy ass rappers. You remember at the time where what? See, there was a time where Crips had the music industry for decades. We had that. The 90s, the early 2000s, that was us. From Sacramento on down to LA. We had the Brother Lynches. We had the Cebos, uh, Looney Coleon. T Nutty, uh, I said the brother Lynch. Uh, who else? Marvelous, uh, a Hollow Tip. I mean, Sacramento was nothing but Crip rappers at one time. All right, Crip rappers. We ain't talking about the Bay Area because Bay Area been doing their thing, but Sac was on the map. Black Market Records was on the map. L A. Southern California, I can't say LA, just all of Southern California. They had they shit already. Crips ran the music industry. Then shit start, Crips start getting older. And the younger generation, like my generation, wasn't really, that we weren't really, you know what I'm saying? We wasn't keeping up with the music shit, you know what I'm saying? Niggas was, niggas was surviving off what the older generation left us was bullshit, war, you feel me? So the bloods end up taking over. And then, you know what I'm saying, the YGs, and up here we had the Mozzies, and you know what I'm saying? They started taking over and making a big impact. But the world at that time wanted to be motherfucking bloods. Because you remember in our time, everybody was crip walking. They thought that was just a dance to do. Everybody wanted to be crip and crip walking. And then the bloods had their turn. You know what I'm saying? So it just goes back and forth. But these rap niggas, you rap niggas, cut it out. Like... Stick to y'all lane, bro. If y'all niggas ain't real gang members, y'all might hang out with some gangs. Join some shit from where y'all from. Where y'all say y'all from. Join that shit. Don't come all the way to California. Join some shit. And then run when shit get hot. You get what I'm saying? You a mark. You a coward. You's a biatch. Nigga, you fake, nigga. I, like, like. Granted. I got put. I, look, I got put on. Facts. Like, I keep telling you. I got, like, the dude. One of the main dudes who, uh, who, basically, I started my my section. Well, he from he from uh he from L.A. Rolling ninety man. R.I.P. Jada man. Uh, he from nine O's man. R.I.P. Jada man. Uh, he got killed out here 
by some square ass niggas. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still mourning my nigga death, man. That was my nigga. You know what I'm saying? We was like this. Uh, I got cousins from rolling 60s. You feel me? Uh, I mean, I got, we can talk about the Grave Streets. I got, you know what I'm saying? I got family from everywhere, nigga. Homies from everywhere. From Fresno. You know what I'm saying? Six dudes diamonds. Got cousins from there. Uh, outside of California. You know what I'm saying? My family from the east to the west coast. You know what I'm saying? I got family. That's why I was trying to tell the last goofy ass nigga who put my name in his mouth. I My reach is far. My reach is far. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't trying to glorify what I can have done or what I can do myself. I'm just like, you know, California, you out of town motherfuckers, this shit ain't no game. Motherfuckers will really take your fucking life, nigga. Boot gang, you a biatch, nigga. You's a straight hoe, nigga. You don't, you don't, and this nigga still part, he's still a crip, nigga. Facts. Nigga, you still a low, nigga. You ain't get put off yet, nigga. You still a low, nigga. You just hide from California, nigga. You ain't coming back. Bring your ass back, little nigga. You know what I'm saying? He was going to jail, and he got tired of fighting niggas in jail. Nigga, that's part of the gang, nigga. You joint that shit, nigga. When I go to Sac County, what you think I tell them niggas? Look, I don't, I, look, as you hear me right now today, I'm a father. I will always be looked at as a crip, but I am not a gang member. No, I'm not a gang banger. I take that back. I will always be a gang member for the rest of my life, regardless. And, and the gang that I was part of really transformed into something different. I get into that on another story, but I will always be who the fuck I am. All right. I mean, I got these tattoos that's just blasted on me that ain't going that I could cover up for sure. But why? At a point in time in my life, that's who I was. I'm a father today. I got blood homies, crip homies, Northanial homies, Sudanian homies. It don't matter. I mean, I got a few GD homies around the corner. You know what I'm saying? It don't even matter. If you a man and you show me respect, you good, you good in my book. You show me loyalty, respect, you good in my book. Just stand on what you believe in. Um, but when I go to Sac County, I can't tell them niggas I ain't, I ain't nothing. Because they gonna house me with anybody. They might put me in a pile full of bloods. Now I gotta explain to these niggas what all these tattoos is on me for. And I got, nah, nah, I ain't doing that. Just house me with the Crips. You feel me? Uh... But that's how it is. Sacramento is my predominantly blood city. Anybody from Cali know that shit. Niggas. For every one crip, it's like five, ten fucking bloods. Facts. Because understand, at one time, it was popular here to be a blood. The Bay Area dudes came here and they say blood. They say blood. I think Oakland and Frisco, they say blood a lot. Uh... More towards like Richmond and all that, they use the word cuz, but they not gangs, they not gang, they just, this is what they say. But it meant something to these goofy ass niggas here because a lot of these dudes just didn't have, they didn't have, how can I say it? They were, they didn't know. Like, Sack doesn't have an identity. You know what I'm saying? Um, Sack doesn't have an identity. So, Majority of the dudes here are either bloods, crips, or pimps. They they everything except themselves. And <clears throat> I've noticed that throughout the years of me living here. Because I'm not from here. I, I moved here. But I hear, I'm here. I spent a lot of years here. So this is my city, right? Um, but uh, when dudes here, when you hear dudes saying, blood, what's up, blood, what's up, blood? You start picking that word up. Then you start realizing, hey, bloods were red, but these dudes never were bloods like that. That's just what they say. And with the Crips, cuz, cuz. I know I met a dude from Richmond out here. He was cousin shot, and I was like, homie, where you from? Nigga said, I'm from the rich. I like, you I, I, I got Crips out there? He was like, hell, no, nah, ain't no Crips out here. And I don't, I don't, uh, ain't no Crips out there, man. I uh, we don't do that shit. And I was like, why you saying cuz? And he like, that's just how we talk. Our families come from the South, and that's just, what up, cuz, what up, blood? That's just how they talk out there. I was like, okay, I got put on this when I was a youngin'. I didn't know nothing about it. So when I was a youngin', that's what I was told. But, bro, about that boot gang nigga, 
homie a mark, a coward. I applaud this man for getting off the drugs, changing his life. Because listen, we only get one heart. Once that motherfucker done, it's done. We only get one brain. Once it's done, it's done. Some of these other organs, we got two of. Some of these other organs can help rebuild themselves. But once the damage is done on the major organs, it's done. You're gone. So I applaud him for getting off the drugs. I applaud him for getting healthy. But brother, I don't applaud you for running. And you supposed to be a loke, my nigga. Rule number one, nigga, ain't no running from this shit. Ain't no running. Nigga, look. <clears throat> at the end of the day, you ran, nigga, and didn't come back. Because don't get me wrong, homie. I ran, too. I ran, too. That was before my initial initiation to the gang shit. Look, I just had family that was involved. I knew about it. But I never was like, fuck it, I'm in. I had a video talking about the South Sides where I ran, you feel me? I was a youngin' at that time, G. Once I hit middle school and I start, you know what I'm saying, I got put on, and in the, in, then in the high school, I ain't run no more. It wasn't no running. It was a rap. But before all that, prior to all that, I ran them niggas trying to, nigga, yeah, I got up out of there. So, but nigga, you a man and ran, nigga, that's a difference. You a grown ass man and took off running, nigga. I was a kid, and nigga, you was a man and ran, nigga. And you supposed to be a loke. Nah, nigga. See, one thing about Crips, we could talk ourselves out of a crazy situation, man. You know what I'm saying? Nigga might want to kill us, jump us, but nigga, we a smooth, get ourselves up out of that shit without breaking to our car, running, never coming back. But that's what you get. So this message go out to all you internet niggas, to all you rap niggas, you know what I'm saying? Stop coming to California trying to join our gangs, nigga. Y'all ain't built for it, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Look on the news. These rappers is getting murdered and robbed left and right. Or I beat all them niggas. But I don't give a fuck. They did that shit to themselves, nigga. And then, and then if you want to really talk about, then if you really want to talk about uh, 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 issues, <clears throat> let's talk about the, <clears throat> sorry, man, I have. My third time catching COVID. Nigga, I'm still going through this shit. Uh, let's really talk about it. You know what I'm saying? They say the shit only happens in L.A. Nah, man, y'all better y'all better check y'all history, nigga. The Bay Area been snatching shit. Rappers, everydayers, it don't matter. Nick, bro, anybody can get it in any city in California. L.A. just a popular location. It's a popular tourist location. So when these rap niggas come out here, they think, oh, I'm going to L.A. I'm going to the Bay Area. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to Frisco. I'm... Nigga, hey, you do that, you liable to lose your life, nigga, because you are somebody now, nigga. You can't just be bailing through shit when it's, when it's real life sharks out there who hungry. When it's wolves that ain't ate. When it's motherfuckers who got kids, families to feed. Uh... They just hungry and tired, and they feel like, fuck it. And the scariest thing to do is come across a motherfucker who feel like, fuck it. Because when a motherfucker feel like, fuck it, they think like, fuck life. I don't give a fuck about jail. I don't give a fuck about family right now. I don't give a fuck about nothing but getting me a meal. And nigga, you gonna be that meal, nigga. So to all you rap niggas and, and, and social media motherfuckers, stop coming out here with that bullshit. You come out to Cali, be on some cool shit. Be on some chill shit. Be on some relaxed shit. Enjoy your time. Be with your lady. Be with your family. Stop coming out here trying to be part of shit, my nigga. You don't know the... It's niggas who... Bro. It's niggas in prison doing life for this shit right now. It's niggas on death row for this shit right now. Who ain't got a call. Who ain't got sent the package. Who, who just left to rot, my nigga. Who may get a letter every blue moon. But this nigga's on death row. Crips and Bloods right now dying because of this shit. This nigga's doing life, multiple life sentences because of this shit. You know how many babies didn't die, moms didn't die, daddies didn't die, brothers didn't die, sisters didn't die, cousins, uncles that are buried. Some ain't even buried because they ain't even have the funds to bury them. A lot of them motherfuckers is cremated. You get what I'm saying though? A lot of motherfuckers is cremated for this shit. 
for this Crip and Blood shit. And you niggas want to make fun of it by coming out of here, you out of town motherfuckers, and joining this shit, then running when shit get too hot? Nigga, we ain't have a choice to run, nigga, because majority of us live in this community that is gang-based. Where we gonna run to? We gonna leave what? Leave it to go to a different city? It's just gonna follow us. Leave and go to another state? It's gonna be somebody from Cali in that state that's gonna... Uh, uh, that, okay, now you gotta run again. Stop coming out here, bro. My message to all you niggas, stop coming out here, bro. It's Jay Realist TV, and I'm out.